Alright, hey, what's up you guys? Gavin here. Today we are looking at one of my, uh, one of my favorite bands, honestly, uh, Balance and Composure. Um, the album we're looking at today is Light We Made. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into this. Um, some of the things we're going to be talking about today are first impressions, lyrics, band similarities, my favorite song, and the singing and screaming styles Balance and Composure, uh, has. <laughs> So the first song we're looking at today is Midnight Zone. And uh, I guess my first impression of the album, I had heard this uh, postcard was what the song was. And um, the my first impression is it was a little bit different from their last album, which was, uh, I believe there is a, hold on, let me look that up real quick. Um, the last album Bouncing Composure made was one of my favorites. Uh, I think this is the first time I ever heard Bouncing Composure, and it that was a really good album. There, that album was so cool to me and so different for some reason. It was just something I had never. I mean, I guess I had heard stuff like that, but I hadn't. For me, it wasn't anything I really heard in a while. Uh, it was called The Things We Think We're Missing. Um, so yeah, The Light We Made is a little bit different than The Things We Think We're Missing. Uh, the Things We Think We're Missing were a lot more, like, not, not, not exactly 90s rock. I don't want to put it in that perspective, but it just... Oh, gosh. It was not droll, because that's not exactly the right word for it, but it had an effect. And listening to this album, I definitely hear the original, like, balancing composure, uh, monotone singing um, that they, uh, they... employ. Um, to be honest, this is my, probably my first or second time I really heard this, and, uh, I guess this is the first, really, the first time I've ever heard this song. A, a lot of the songs in this album I haven't really gone over before, because of, I guess I just, I've been kind of busy, and, you know, I heard, I watched the music video and I heard um, some of the things, a uh, postcard, and you know, I don't know, it just it takes me a while for me to like dig into certain albums from time to time. But I actually really like this album so far. It's a. Uh, the. When I was first exposed to Bounds of Composure, uh, it was truly relatable, and um, not to say that these aren't exactly relatable, but they're kind of different. They're a little bit different than uh, what I'm probably used to. But we're gonna look up some of the lyrics for this uh, for this album. Alright, so it starts, uh, in the ocean we can barely float. In the ocean further down we go. I don't want to know your motive. Come and stay another moment. Stay another moment. Dripping down and we don't wash ashore. Come and stay another moment. Stay another moment. Pull me down, down to your ocean floor. In the ocean follow where you go. Your devotion is sinking down below. I don't want to know your motive. Come and stay another moment. Stay another moment. Drifting down, we don't wash ashore. Come and stay another moment. Stay another moment. Put me down, down to your ocean floor. Famished for the way I've fallen. Fading love, take me down to the bottom. Failing lungs, the more I swallow. Waiting once, but now we're underwater. Come and stay another moment. Stay another moment. Drifting down, we don't wash ashore. 
So the impression that this uh, these lyrics are giving me is that this song is about a love that is taking a kind of a dive. It's uh, it's showing some of you know the signs that it may not be you know worth going through or you know maybe it's it's coming to an end and they can foresee it happening um, but you know they're holding on to it come and stay stay another moment drifting down we don't wash ashore like it's it's right there it's it's so close to the end but we're not gonna let it end and so it's very like sounds very desperate The next song we're looking at is Spinning. Spinning is a lot more like the things we think we're missing. Uh, it's a little more clear. I feel like Midnight Zone. A lot of people were talking about how this album was a little more not complex, but it's a little more abstract, a little more ambient than they were used to with Bounce and Composure. But for me, I think uh, some of the the best moments in the Bounce and Composure things we think were missing, and in general, was that ambience that they would, you know, drift into their album and their music. And this album really embraces that. So I feel like this album did such a really good job in in some of the things that a lot of their fans do appreciate in their music. You know, they took what, you know, bands like Basement or um, Sea Haven did and they just kind of, they, not electronic per se, but they, kind of like when you're holding on to a moment and you're just holding on to it for dear life and you let that moment linger. I feel like that's what their music does really good, uh, does, really, does best at. So the song starts off, levitating, round you go, where you stop, I don't know, floating away, bending and breaking, you're floating away, the left one wants, the left one wants what the right one's got, and all my shit is pilling up, floating away, bending and breaking, you're so far away, and I'm alright, someone said to keep the window cracked just a bit, let the world keep spinning on a string, and I'm on fire, someone said to keep the shades all drawn with an open heart, let the world keep spinning on a string. Waiting in your riverbed, dying in my selfishness, sinking away, bending and breaking, you're sinking away. The left one wants what the right one's got, and all my shit is pilling up, sinking away, bending and breaking, you're so far away. And I replied, I, I made mistakes, I want to die. She asks, why? Said, I don't know, it won't untie. I'm alright. Someone said to keep the window cracked just a bit, let the world keep spinning on a string, and I'm on fire. Someone said, keep the shades out drawn with an open heart. Let the world keep spinning on a string. So I think by this song, you know, it's really coming to an end. This song is really, you know, taking from what the first song was inevitably headed towards. It's finally manifested. Breaking and breaking, you're so far away. Someone said to keep the window cracked just a bit. Let the keep, let the world keep spinning on a string. So it's, it's also you know we're at this point where. The inevitable has happened, but we have to keep moving, we have to keep going, we have to keep moving on, we can't let this be. Let the world keep spinning on the string. Waiting in your riverbed, dying in my selfishness, sinking away, bending and breaking, you're sinking away. The left one wants what the right one's got. So, all in all, I think this song is about how the, like I said, the inevitable happened and it's manifested and we're at this point where the worst has happened, but we can get through this. We can move forward and, you know, we can let the world keep spinning on a string. Alright, so the next song I'm looking at is After Party. This is another one of the songs that I had looked up a while back. I was exposed to. It's pretty good. It's mostly because of the music videos. Uh, the reason why I know some of these songs off this album is because of the fact that they had music videos to go with them, and uh, I have I follow these uh, these things on Twitter. Uh, I think it's like uh, 
one sec. There's like New Noise Magazine. It's just to name a few. Um, let's see. Uh, I think it's Stereo. Stereo something. New Noise, uh, Punk Magazine, Punk News, Run for Cover, and Alternative Press. Uh, one of my favorites one is uh, Stereo Gum. That's the one. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can find uh, this album, uh, Bound to Composure Light We Made, um, Stereo Gum, so you can keep up with uh, all news, all music news. Um, and yeah, throw all those bands in there. Run for Cover is a really good one too, so I'll leave that li link in the description for that as well. So, the music video is really weird and trippy, and I really liked it. Um, I'm actually watching it right now because of the playlist that was made. Uh, and yeah, it's quite... It's very, very trippy. Uh, amongst um, psychedelic effects, they do a really good job of kind of taking what that psychedelic effect is and just outstretching it, bringing it to life, if you will. So the lyrics are Everyone was right, left it at the after party. I didn't say goodbye and I didn't say goodnight. I wonder if you may, I wonder if I like, but I didn't say goodbye, I didn't say goodnight. And then you slip into me, penetrate so suddenly, and then you slip into me, penetrate so suddenly. Always around, we can start again. Let your feelings show, it's easier than you would ever know. I'm desperate and weak now, needing you to speak out, either way at all, say it so. Now it's bombs away, crashing in like a military, I never brought a fight. You fed me into the night, I wonder what you dread. But did I? Catch your eye? What well, comes is no surprise, I was in my camouflage, and then you sl slam me into me like a train so suddenly. And then you slam into me like a train so suddenly. Always around, can we start again? Let your feelings show, it's either then you would ever know. I'm desperate and weak now, needing you to speak out. Either way, it's at all, say it so. Wonder if you know I've been waiting always, secrets safe to hold. I'm never bending, I'll never tell it. Let your feelings show, it's easier than you would ever know. I'm desperate now and weak now, needing you to speak out. Either way at all, say it so. So, the basic premise of the song is that it, ever since it ended, you know, I didn't say goodbye, I didn't say goodnight. Always around, we can start again. I, so, they finally have ended. And I guess the rest of the song is basically about how they keep seeing each other at parties and, or I guess just keep seeing each other in general. I don't know if it's necessarily about a party. It doesn't really give me too much info about the party, but it's, it's ended and now they can't help but be around each other and see each other and it's just like they can't escape the fact that they are meant to be with each other, you know? Uh, now it's bombs away crashing in like a military. I never brought a fight. You fed me into the night. And then you slam into me like a train so suddenly, always around, we can start again. Let your feelings show what you didn't knew would ever know. So he's basically just trying to convince her that it's meant to be, even though we have all these these problems, all these things, I'm selfish, you know, you're not open. We can we can fix this, you know. Let your feelings show. So that's pretty much what uh, I got from the song. Uh, the next song we're looking at is For a Walk. Alright. 
So for a walk starts off, take me for a walk, point me where you want me to steer, where you want to steer me, take me for a walk, I'll go where you are, take me for a walk, kiss me in that alley baby, take me for a walk. You know who this actually reminds me of? Uh, I think the band is Turnover. Uh, this is pretty much what Balance and Composure, uh, Composure reminds me of, is that band. So we're going to steer a little bit from the lyrics here and uh, talk a little bit about band similarities, my favorite song, and uh, some of the singing and screaming styles real quick. Um, so like I said, band similarities, uh, I would have said if you had caught me with uh, the review for There Is uh, Things We Think We're Missing, I would say Sea Haven, uh, for all, um, Basement, uh, some other punk bands along that genre. <clears throat> but now it's pretty much like turnover, um, very shoegaze bands. Uh, I think there's a band called Cherry Glazer, but I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I don't really know too many shoegazer bands. If you want me to do any reviews of shoegazer bands, leave them in the comments section. I would love to read about them and uh, do some reviews on them. Exposure, it's great stuff. So, my favorite song, I don't exactly. Mediocre love is pretty good. We're gonna skip through here. Postcards, okay. Alright, so far, it's between Is It Much To Adore and Mediocre Love. Loma is pretty good as well. Mm, okay. Alright, so I'm just making a decision, guys. Uh, get a little bit of time here. Alright, I'm gonna give it to Is It Much To Adore? Um, I think because it gives me a lot of the the feels from what the first, not the first album, the first album was pretty good, but I didn't really give it too much hype. Um, I think, if anything, uh, there is things we think we're missing is uh, bleeding through on this this song a lot, and I like it a lot. Uh, singing and screaming styles. So apparently a lot of autotune was uh, used for this album, and uh, not many people were t pretty into it, that's why they didn't really get much buzz. But to be honest, I think it really did a really good job. He doesn't really sing too out of range, 
or anything so it's not like you notice it it just kind of adds to it's an effect used to add to the uh, to the music and the tone of the album and I think they I think it did really well I didn't really I honestly didn't really notice the autotune as anything except for a another element to uh, to the creativity and to the effort into this album so yeah that's uh, all I gotta say um, if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you want me to do any uh, albums or artists or movies reviews uh, leave it in the comments section uh, love to get suggestions um, and yeah uh, I'm gonna probably give this album I only see a 4 out of 5 <laughs> I really like this album uh, Bounce of Composure does a really good job at kind of taking some of the, the feelings that I have and manifesting them into music and sound and uh, take the words out of my mouth sometimes um, other times they just kind of a good and easy listen to uh, it's not too emotional uh, ro an emotional roller coaster as the, as the things we think we're missing but it definitely takes the elements from that album that I loved and just kind of made it into like a almost like a compilation album of the things I really liked about Balance of Composure so yeah 4 out of 5 for Balance of Composure uh, yeah anyways uh, subscribe peace